How can you sum up the state of the real estate? Listen, not everybody invests in the stock market. Probably people care more about real estate in some ways. Sum up the state of the national real estate market right now. Uh, I would say uh, it is healthy, uh, but we do have that inventory problem. Uh, healthy in a sense that the default rates are now reaching historical sure. low, uh, and the home value is rising, uh, and those people with good credit and necessary down pay payment and income, uh, they are able to buy, and they are very pleased with the outcome. Uh, but the first-time buyers, young uh, millennials who want to be, uh, buy, uh, they are facing affordability challenges from two front, rising interest rates and home prices outpacing people's income growth by large margin. Lawrence, we talk a lot about the supply situation, you and I, and you are always saying that we need to get so many of those homes that were turned into rentals after the foreclosure crisis back into the home sales market. But the investors who bought those don't seem to be selling them, and they seem to be profiting off of them pretty nicely from high demand. Do you expect to see any of that supply come back into the seller's market? Uh, when investors went into the market uh, at the deep downturn, which was actually 10 years ago, uh, their time uh, horizon was about five to seven years. We are well past that. And the reason why they are holding on to for a longer period is rental income has been exceptional, uh, as well as price appreciation. But what we are sensing is that, at least in the multifamily apartment market, the rent growth is beginning to soften. Uh, and this may be an early signal for some of the real estate investors looking for rental income to say maybe uh, we are picking out and maybe we will begin to see more uh, inventory. Uh, but that's only a hope. Uh, what really needs to happen is for the home builders just to crank out more production. And as we have more inventory, uh, that will lead many existing homeowners to trade up and thereby release their property onto the market. Yeah, I was going to say, well, what else is it going to take, Lawrence? I mean, what, I don't, why are people not moving? Uh, people are not moving because they are not excited about inventory choices. Uh, so uh, is, once they see more product choices, uh, I think they will be uh, saying, well, I have built up housing equity. I can use it as a down payment for my next home purchase. So we have an imbalance of limited yeah. supply. The builders not building adequately compared to job growth and population growth. And that's why we have this shortage crunch. You know, though, Diana, I wonder, I was on the train back from D.C. yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't stop into the office. Sat next to a woman who had just moved her family from L.A. to D.C. She relocated for work with her two kids. And, and I was wondering, I wonder if as the job market gets so tight, are companies going to start to impact the housing market? Because if you want good workers, you might have to start incenting and even paying for these kind of moves. Well, what you are seeing is company, companies moving to cities that you might not think about. The Midwest seeing a surge in tech companies. You're seeing Pittsburgh seeing a big surge in companies that are moving there because the housing there is cheaper. And of course, when we talk about where is Amazon's HQ2 going to be, everybody wants to know because you know that's going to boost the housing market wherever it is. But their decision has to be based on affordability in that particular market. If you're going to move thousands of workers anywhere, you have to make sure that they're going to have affordable housing. And that's not necessarily in some of the places that are most popular. Obviously, this person moving from L.A. to D.C. might feel a little better about how much more yeah. house they're getting, but they're not getting a lot more house here. Say, go to Cleveland, somewhere like that. That's where some companies move workers because that's where you're going to get more for your money. Lawrence, you're seeing any heat up in some of these markets, these second tier? I don't mean that as an insult to the cities, but you know what I mean? Like, not, not, you know what I mean? Boise, Idaho, super hot. Raleigh, North Carolina, a tight inventory, not enough home. Home prices rising at close to double-digit rate of appreciation. So we are seeing mid-sized market really beginning to take off. Uh, so uh, I think we will begin to see uh, that price disparity where uh, the West Coast, East Coast price is exceptionally high, but they begin to uh, translate into uh, other areas. Dallas, Texas, Houston doing very well. Uh, so I think this trend where companies want to relocate, they want to relocate into affordable regions of the country. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.